Here's what we know so far. It happened the night of July 4th. Residents reported hearing a loud boom around 2 o'clock in the morning, but they didn't think much of it because of the fireworks that were going on for Independence Day. The next morning, they found the mailbox destroyed. Take a look at these pictures shared with us by uh, Sherry Gardner. She took them and it shows that the side of the mailbox was blown out. The pieces were scattered all around and a compartment door made it all the way across the street into Sherry's front yard. And she says with that amount of force and all of those pieces flying all over the place, she's glad that no one was hurt. I don't think sometimes people think about when they're out having fun. I don't think that they think about that people could get hurt and they could have been harmed bad. Had I been walking out when it exploded, I would have been hurt. It was one of those things that was just too close. And Cherry mentioned she thought maybe they were trying to get into the mail and the contents of the mailbox, but those pieces of mail and a package were left behind. So it's unclear what the motivation was, but we do know that the mailbox has been replaced by the U.S. Postal Service and a detective has been assigned to this case, but so far no active lead.